What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we do have quite the interesting car here. We have a Skyline R34 in the 1 in 43 scale. And I've been wanting to find this. Um, this is the one that comes with a Mercedes AMG GT3 and the other part of the set. And we have the V-Spec 2 NUR with Nismo parts. So you can see it has a little cut in the hood there. Uh, yes, it's quite interesting. Uh, the box is made. It looks like you could crack it open and put it back in if you want to display it, which is awesome. Um, it does have tape on the sides here. So um, we were lucky enough to find two of these. Let's get the tape off the sides. Okay, we're done with the tape and now that seeing how this thing opens, it's probably really easy to steal. It's this big card, which we're gonna leave in here. And here it is. So we're gonna move this out of the way for it this second. I'm probably gonna leave it in that for display. But here is the car. Wow, this is actually so cool. You really just need to get one open in order to to see what it's like, but the wheels are super detailed. And if you look on the box real quick, it does say metal on metal and then real riders. So they this is made by real rider, the wheels, which is quite interesting. Uh, the chassis has a ton of detail. You can see, you know, the exhaust transmission, very, very great detail. Axle, it's nice. Very cool. Very, very, very detailed. It was also super expensive. But owning a car of this scale is actually quite cool. I don't really have any cars of this scale. And the wheels are actually awesome. Like, the wheels do look amazing. So realistic looking with the brake pads and calipers and all that. The back, I mean, this is like basically a mini GT, but bigger scale, right? It has like these implanted taillights. Good details on the back. This piece still looks like it's just done with a marker, though. I mean, I don't really know what else you could do there. From the top, it kind of looks like an R33. And then there's the front. Looking pretty good. Good detail. I'm still amazed with just, just looking at the bottom. I mean, this is a metal. Should be just a metal chassis metal pieces down there and then just the wheels are just insane let's see if we could those wheels are amazing so we'll, we'll do more close-up photos of it but yeah nothing uh moves on the car except the wheels and the way that the wheels work is if you turn one the other turns so they're like kind of both connected it's not like hot wheels where you could have them both spinning in different directions um but yeah this is awesome very very cool one in 43, rolls well. Don't think anyone's gonna be rolling that around. It's also really heavy, which is good. It's high quality, it's heavy. It's a good, good car there. Wheels on the right side, and there's the little cut in the hood. Um, yeah, this is very clean. This is also a pretty clean color. It's a little bit of a weird shade, but I mean, it definitely flows with this car. Looks great. So, just to compare it, I'm going to get a 164 R34, and actually might as well get the bigger ones too. Okay, so here it is next to a 164 Hot Wheels. You see it is significantly bigger, but it's not too much bigger. If I adjust the camera, it looks like it's the same. But you can see it's only a little bit longer. It's just wider and definitely more details. Um, but this is the Fast and Furious R34. Here's the bigger R34s. As you can see, that is quite bigger than this one. And then this, I believe, is 1 in 32. Let me just grab this McLaren right here. So this is going to be slightly bigger of this scale. 
because it's 1 in 32. So there's 1 in 32, 1 in 43, 1 in 64. I mean, this is like a right in between. <laughs> it's just something that you just don't see often. Really cool. I am uh, excited to also get the Mach 1 Mustang. I know it's been sitting on the shelves. Well, not sitting on the shelves, but it's been. I've been seeing it a lot, and I just haven't bought it. And I finally just decided, hey, you know what? It's not that bad. Yeah, they're kind of expensive, but it's one car that I really like. And, you know, I'm probably not going to see it much anymore, so might as well get it. But after seeing this 143 scale car, I'm probably going to be spending a lot of money on 143s because these are awesome. But yeah, let's put it on the turntable. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is quite the expensive car, so it would help me out a ton if you guys could share the video, um, get it seen to more people, more collectors. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, comment down below if you're gonna pick up this car, if you see it, if you've already seen it in stores, because I know it's just hitting cer certain stores. Um, yeah. Give me any comments down below, any questions, I'll try to answer them. Uh, keep collecting, and I will see you in the next one.